Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today we are on the letter O, and so we are making our oval trifold card. Now there's a couple ways of doing this, and um, <laughs> the I can't find my oval stencil, so I'm going to use the inside of this, and I'm not going to cut it because I didn't want to cut this whole thing, so... Um, so I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. I need a paper that has, let's see. Okay, we'll go with this one. So I have several things here on my desk to use. Um, and so... <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be using this this stencil that I had in my stash. I think it will be fun for this um, this kit. Um, remember, I'm working on my Raggedy Ann and Andy journal, and so if I had a large tag page, I could do this with a large tag page. Um, let's see if I have. A large tag. <laughs> you would think I just there's stuff everywhere because we just finished the hummingbird journal and but the other thing is is I don't want to uh, cut up okay here we go Okay, this will help me at least get my folds for it, okay? This is actually a um, six-pack, okay? I just want to figure out where my folds should be, so I'm going to go ahead and mark where the folds would be, okay? Now, I want to see, yeah, that's going to be, for this particular one, that's actually uh, not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and my outside piece, I'm going to let go here. This, I'm going to consider this my inside piece. I want it to go inside my okay, so measure it up. And this side will be on the outside. This will be on the inside. That will be perfect. And okay. I think I want this as my front piece, okay? And it can either come inside or it can go to the outside, however you would want. So I'm gonna do two different ways of doing this, okay? So we do need to take this out. Um, <laughs> another one that I bought that I have no idea how to use it. Yeah, I, I think I should, <laughs> no idea, zero. Anybody have used this one before? Um, it looks like we've got like corners here and yeah, I don't want to cut anything because I don't know what is supposed to be, what is supposed to be cut. So, yeah, um, but I can use it for this, okay? So I'm going to come over here, and I am, okay, I'm going to put it up towards the top on this one. Okay, so this fold over here, actually both folds need to be um, inside. Ah, both folds. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give this another 
a foldy woldy. Okay, so we'll fold it in, line it up to the bottom. Okay, there's the stitching that I want to make sure that I catch for the front of this. Okay, so um, so my fold is on the inside here. I'm going to go ahead and just mark at the top where the fold is on this other one. Sorry, you guys. It's like, okay, so there's the fold right here. It's going to go down. It's going to be right about there. Okay. And the reason you want the fold on the inside is because you want... Uh, You want it to be a trifold, right? Okay. Now, um, looking for a pen. And I can just go ahead and cut this here. Okay, so this is just one way. And I'm going to make sure... I go to the outside of this fold, no matter what. Then we'll come back in. I should have cut off the white edges, huh? Maybe it won't matter. Okay, so there we go. We have our little folded goodie there. Okay, and so it can go either direction because it's uh, non, really non-directional. So you can decide on, okay. Okay, so with the folded edges. Now, your other way is going to be um, cutting se separate. You know what, let's cut these out of the ones I'm going to use, okay? So... Okay. okay, so not this one. We want the, we want this one. Okay, so one of my pages I was thinking would be kind of cool to have, to have this. Okay. And I'm going to do it from that other side. Okay, so you can cut out your three ovals and you'll be able to put them together. Oh, this one I'm going to have to do on the inside. So I'm using the Yeah, I think we'll go with this. Okay, so this is from the postcard uh one of the postcard pages. Okay, 
guys. So um, remember, you need to have a Dear Julie Julie Digital, and then your um, your other item, and then you need to embellish or enhance it with three more things. Okay. So we're making the other kind right here. So this is the base, base number one idea, and this will be base number two idea. So yeah, don't forget that you can uh, cut shapes and things out of your digitals, out of your magazines, out of your wrapping paper, your wallpaper, your gift bag, um, out of your paper pad, out of all the things you can go ahead and cut out shapes and pieces. Okay, so there's that. So, um, So this says uh, the paper pad that we've been using, and we might be able to go ahead and add that on there. Let's see. You know what? Let's use this. Oh. I'm going to put this in, but before I, before I put this, um, I'm going to want a piece. Oh, here, we've got this. Okay. I'm going to put this in between. Okay. going to give me a tab on the inside. Okay. I'll go ahead and cut around this. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple of ideas. You can, so you can go either way. We're going to come up and around. We're going to pull our fabric back out of the way so that we can go ahead and go around it. Okay, so there's, there's our tab. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. We'll go ahead and go around this. I could have used anything instead of this cute one on this. This one, this was uh, part of one of the fabric sales. I did have this in one of the fabric sales. Okay, so this one, I'm going to bring it right up to... Oh, my goodness. Did you guys see that I was doing that? You probably did. <laughs> Thinking about too many things all at the same time.
my one of my favorite Dollar Tree products, the glue eraser. Okay, so then we can just go around this. Yeah, this is not um, not a super hard thing to do. I um, I just thought an oval trifold card would be fun. So here we've put the um, the goodie on the inside. The tab is on the inside. Okay. So it's be really fun if you were doing um, like a farm journal and to make this be eggs which I, my plan was this month the farm journal was supposed to already be happening but I'm not there yet so okay so um, then the other way of doing it okay so I have this one is to put your uh, your piece on the outside so your tab can be on the outside oh you can see the the thing on both sides that so we have used this in the journal okay could also use a ticket um, so you can use ribbon you can use a ticket So your tab can go on the outside if you would rather have it on the outside. Let's go ahead and pull this over and line it up. Okay, and then we'll turn it over. So another thing you can use is an index card for journaling space. And I think we'll do it kind of at an angle. Oh, not this one though. That one has my mom's sticker on it. We don't want to, <laughs> we'll just grab another. Go around this one again. And I'm going to try and round the area so that maybe it'll be easier to cut. Okay. So I've seen, and some of you did tabs, and some have done the folded. Uh, you can do either way. And of course, you can just use double-sided um, paper, paper that is already printed on both sides, of course. I'm trying to use up the extra pieces that I had printed. Okay. Okay, so we have and it, and you can go ahead and fold this however you want. I've got I've got that. Okay, so inside or outside, either way, um, we have our Dear Julie Julie Digital, and now I want to add the stencil, and I'm going to add the stencil on this page. 
Okay, so this is a stencil that I had purchased and I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get in it. I guess you cut across the top. Because I might be able to use this packaging, this right here, I will put it with my mouse <clears throat> that lives at that magical place. Um, I have, I've been collecting that stuff for a long, long time. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go in here. It's package. This is nice packaging right here. <laughs> and then we've got this little packaging. So I found this in my stuff when I was looking for, I had planned to use a stencil as for doing my oval. And I, can't, I don't have any idea where those stencils are. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And let's see, what color do we want? I think we'll use red. I, I have it. <laughs> okay. And then I need a goodie. Okay. You know, this might have been better to use the, the brush. But I don't have, I don't have it out. And we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> I just thought an alphabet would be kind of funny. Fun. I like that the I is lowercase. Did you notice that? should have taken out the the barn red. It's a darker. We'll do the numbers too. Okay, so there we've added the uh, the letters. And I think I'm going to come over here and add the numbers going across the bottom. Okay, just the numbers. And I don't want to... Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this across the bottom. And across this other set of letters. To mask them okay so that all I get are the letters there we go line it up There, we added our stamping or stenciling, and I used my stencil, yay! Okay, so that, so we have our Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, no, we have our digital, so we used Raggedy Ann and Andy for our digital, and then we, for our other, um, list 
we used the the stencil okay so now and I have my base so now I need to go ahead and we're gonna add some washi let's see add some washi here Add some. Okay, let's. I'm gonna round it a little bit here. And if you thought you needed to, you could go ahead and also add a outside tab on this side. I think we're good with just one on this particular one. I think it it's, feels like it's strong enough there. Okay, just cleaning up that edge. Okay, so we added washi. Okay, I'm gonna add this piece from the guest check. And I'm going to put it here. No, we're going to put it over here. Okay. And the reason that we're going to do that and we're going to do with persons is that we can have a little belly band that can hold something in here using this, this little goodie. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I think there's a hole in this one because it doesn't want to come out. Oh, look at that's coming up. It's okay. We know what to do. Okay. So I'm going to put glue over here on this side, glue over here on this side. Should have rounded that I didn't so we'll we'll do something else over there okay okay so we added washi we added the guest check and We have invented and invention. Inventive, I like that. I'm gonna add that on, on here somewhere. How about right here? Okay, so that's dictionary. Then I also have these. So there's that, there's that. I think we can use this one. Okay, I have this little red if I can, if I, I'm just going to round the corners with my, 
pen with my scissors. I'm going to put, like, make a little notebook under here. Okay. Okay, so we'll be adding a Brad. Okay, now I gotta decide if this is where I wanna add a Brad because it's their head. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. That's their, that's their head. If we put this on here. Yeah, I think we'll do it. We'll do it here. Will one of these fit? No. Could try though, Julie. I think we'll do this. So we'll add the ticket. Okay. And where did it go? There it is. Okay. There. And we've already added a bread somewhere else in the journal, so that's, that's cool. Okay. Okay, now, thing is, is you can go ahead and move this so you can write on those. Okay, now on Okay, we are going to want to cut this. Those line up. Okay. There's that. There's that. And then I'm going to want to put something over this. I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put the glue on the bottom of this. The word is invention. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here and I need, I wanna make sure that there's glue here and there's glue around the brad. Okay, and the, but I did put go across the bottom and added glue. And I want to make sure that the word invention shows up in both places. I'm okay with some of the 
um, definition gets obviously because some of it's already ripped off. Okay, go ahead and put that on there and clean it up. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and cut it around the dictionary page. So my extra things I added, I added note paper um, or lined paper. I added dictionary. I added a brad. I have scrapbook paper, washi, and the guest check. Okay, so over here I want to add, let's see, what can we add there? Ooh, this one's got red and blue. It fits, so let's go ahead and, it says English time. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna fold it and put that in there like that. Okay, so again, this is our oval fold brochure so a, a brochure it kind of you know it folds up so that's uh, that's where the the brochure part of that came from so I want to put something over here oh how about we, we, we've got the stickers. Okay, so there and there, I'm folded up. Okay, should we add something to the front? Oh my goodness, I'm actually cold. <laughs> So, here we go. Uh, yesterday, I put up the video for the Hummingbird Journal. I did finish it, and so I did a flip through of that for yesterday. I hope you will check that out. Um, it has a home, and so that is really, really exciting. Okay, so I have my little oval card here, and it, oh, it opens this way. So there's my stenciling, dictionary, dictionary, stenciling, guest check, stickers, this little um, insert. There's plenty of places that you can write on here. We did use Brad and you can go ahead and send these pages around. Okay. So, yeah, so it is decorated. It also has washi and Yeah, I think it turned out turned out fun. Now I did make a a little banner paper clip, but it's gonna it would go the wrong way. I made a big one too. 
So if I wanted to stick this on the side of a page and put it in, I can. So this is my other banner paper clip. I made this with some scraps that were on my desk. Um, just uh, trying to get scraps off my desk is what I was doing. And um, so, yeah. So there is our letter O. And um, so the other thing that we have is our postcard flip up page. So we are going to go ahead and just finish up our postcard pocket page. So we've done the op opal, opal, the O, oval. And so I'm going to go ahead and move some things out of the way. But I had started this back when we were doing pages. I've added washi. I've added stickers. I did not add the um, <laughs> the other thing that you have to add. And so we are going to add ink. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a stencil out of this little guy. Okay. And so this is something you can do if you're going to be making a bunch of something. Okay. So you're going to be making birthday invitations or Christmas cards or birthday cards. And you're just going to sit down and make a bunch. Um, this is one of the ways to go ahead and make it so that it's easy to go ahead and um, fill this in. Now, the thing is, is he has buttons on his pants. I was just going to go ahead and, hmm, I was going to go ahead and cut out his pants and do them in blue. Uh, we, we'll still do that, okay? So you're going to want to add something to get your buttons back, probably. Okay. So I'm using my X-Acto knife. I have out a cutting mat. I'm going to try and leave some of the black stripe the black stripe, the black edge. I have not replaced this knife yet, so. Also, this is a great thing if you don't like to color in the lines, like me. I made baby shower invitations this way this way I have a bear stencil that I made this way that I use with a stamp um, that is uh, it's vintage it's this, this it's over 30 years old <laughs> Okay, now the other thing is, is when I take these pants out of here, I'm also going to have a mask, um, you know, that I could go around things if I, if I wanted to. You could have a separate one where you're doing maybe the red and white on, or the red stripes on the socks. So, so you just take another image that's the same as the one that that is your main image okay and you go ahead and cut out what you need to cut out so and you might have uh, done this before maybe maybe you haven't tried it in a while uh, you want a really sharp knife. My, sh my knife is not sharp. But there I have, I've made a stencil, and now I'm going to 
use ink, okay? So I'll go ahead, put this down, okay? I am gonna hold it with some washi because I'm, I'm having, <laughs> having troubles lately with things moving and go up here and down here okay and then we'll grab blue oh the blue is in with the hummingbird hold on Hold on. <laughs> Chip Sapphire, which, um, so I bought these from somebody oh, a long time ago and the colors are not right on the cover. That's, I bought like six different stamps from them and um, it was a it was a good price, mainly because I couldn't find them at that time anywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ink this. So I'm coloring in his pants. Okay. And if you wanted to do his hat also, I could have could have cut that out from the stencil as well. I should have looked at his. Okay, and there we've got him. He is, isn't he cute? I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on here. And I'll put this other one. Right up here. Okay, so um, yeah, so I've added my ink and I need to add a third embellishment. So if you watch the video, I took the postcard page, I folded it over, okay? So we've got the strong um, tops up here and then I flipped it up and this one, I went ahead and I closed it with washi. Okay, so um, need to add another embellishment. And I think I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna fold it over and let's grab a brad. About the yellow one. Okay, I'm gonna try and put it through the fabric. It doesn't want to go through. Um, should be able to cut through this with with this. Okay. We'll see. Oh, that wasn't the cutting. That was the, <laughs> oh boy, Julie. Okay, there we go, got a hole. Hopefully it's not too big for the bread. Okay, then we'll come over here and I'm actually gonna go inside over here. If I go down, into the washi that'll get you know it's a stronger place okay so there's there's the hole and I only went through one side okay I'm gonna put this inside little tiny brad okay and then I'm gonna open it up in here So there we go. Got this little banner looking thing going on here. 
I am going to add a little glue just so it stops fraying. I don't mind the fraying. I'm afraid so. Okay. And then I was thinking, don't I have Hello My Name Is stickers somewhere? Okay, well, let's look in here. See if we can find something that can go on there. We, if all else fails, we can add a Rolodex on there to give a place for writing. This might be kind of cool. And there's a post-it note. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put that. We'll put it, we'll go ahead and glue it down instead of post-it note it. Okay, so this is gonna finish our um, letter P. So we have um, tomorrow, let me know P, Q, we're gonna be making our quilted tags and we're gonna do this special um, fun way of doing them all. Come, I'll come up with something different uh, to make them. So, yeah, so that'll be tomorrow at 10.30 Pacific Standard Time. And then I think that'll be, be a lot of fun. Okay, so there, since there was really no place to write on that page, we've gone ahead and done that there. And um, yeah, so this is my postcard. We've got washi, stickers, and ink, okay? And I think, let me see, can I do that with a brush? I wonder. It's a big brush though. You have a little brush? Little brush? You have a little lure brush. Look, it's still big. <laughs> I can barely see the top. So I'm going to go ahead and brush that. And you know what? can do some red and then swirl it on there so okay we'll just And his nose. Okay. How 
How brave are we? I guess so we're just making his shirt plaid. Okay. Oh, it looks like his hair is red also. Let's see if we can get a washcloth. Trying to get the blue that has turned to purple off there. Okay, let's see what we can do about his hair. There we go, ink. Today I used ink and I showed you how to make a stencil. Oh, look at, look, these might be kind of fun in here. I'm gonna pull these out because, you know, that's like I'm always looking for things that I can use. This one, um, this post-it note stuff was too good. I mean, it was too, too, it holds too much. Okay, those I'm going to put my, okay. Um, yeah, so I think that that was a good choice. I'm looking over here to see if there's any other, um, like school stuff or, oh, look at, how about, oh my gosh, it's an eight of hearts. Yeah, I think that'll be cute in there. Okay, so we added ink. So we inked him. Remember that I did, if you didn't see it earlier, I did go ahead and I cut him out. And then I was able to do the um the jeans okay or his blue pants and then i inked the rest of him as well i think that was really fun go ahead and put these back in here and so oh i guess i don't have more Holders. So the other thing is, is if you were going to go ahead and go around the outside, you could, you know, cut him all the way out and then ink around the outside or um, paint a plaid or something like that. Okay. And maybe we'll use these. Maybe we'll hang these like from a, <laughs> from a clothesline or something. I happen to have some little, little clips. That might be kind of funny. Just hang his, hang his pants in the, the thing somewhere. <laughs> Let me know. What do you think? Should we hang his pants somewhere? Um, probably cut out this part right here. But I, I'm five. Well, I, I don't, I'm not going to mask. So there. Yeah, that might be kind of fun. Okay. There you go. Um, ink. And the Dear Julie Julie Digital was the postcard page. I flipped it up. I reinforced it. I 
closed it on the sides using the washi. I did add in one of the clusters here and made a little pocket. Um, today's uh, extra thing was, excuse me, the letter I ink and I showed you how I did the stencil. And then I also painted with the, with the brush using the ink, okay? And then we also added some ribbon and a brad and this post-it note. So we are, I'm gonna call that one, done. So what do you think? Have you uh, done this, made your own stencil before? And um, is that something that you might do soon? Okay, everybody, thank you so much for being here. We have made our oval, our letter O. It's stuck. <laughs> I don't know what it's stuck on. Our letter O, and we open it like... I think I put it, I put it away wrong. Okay, we open it like this and then this and we have that and that and that. So um, I also showed you how your base could be um, folded. So either folded or you can add the tabs um, either way. And so I have my Dear Julie Julie Digital I used my letter S stencil and I stenciled here and I stenciled here. Okay. Added some washi, some dictionary page, a brad, a ticket, scrapbook paper, and lined paper. And so I love the way, and a guest check piece right here and some stickers. Okay. So we are all set. I love the way this turned out. And so, yeah, our O, and this was a banner paper clip that I made. And I, like I said, I think I'm going to add this to the side of a page. So it could go on like this, okay? So it can go on the side of a page. And there you go. I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot. Okay, so O and P are done. Done, done, done. So um, what are you doing for your ink? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Find something to celebrate every day. This is for the August ABC All the Things Junk Journal Challenge. You still have until August 31st to finish your journal and um, post your things in the special group. The details video for that challenge is in the description box down below. If you finish it, finish on time and post all of your goodies, um, you get a prize, okay? And all that is explained in that details video. We'd love to have you join us. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye-bye.